Welcome to Mont TV edition number three. My name's Ed, and unfortunately, after four rounds of the NFL home and away season, Montmorency sits one win, three losses, second bottom on the ladder, not the place you want to be. The game, what can I say about it? Against Northcote Park, it was not a game full of highlights. There was no high marking, there was no real long kicking for that fact, even though it was Bill Laurie over one of the biggest grounds in the competition. The game was not a spectacle, unfortunately. So let's go straight to some highlights. Which won't be a big package this week. You lobbed it up. Oh, oh. Got the sip, just couldn't quite drag it down. Collins tracks it forward and gets the free kick. Only one going for the ball. McCoy with the ball. Checks his headband. And uh, chips it to McCallum. So McCallum pressed up against the boundary line and uh, finds Donaldson. So the Montmorency Smalls out wide, so that means who's, who's in the corridor. Handball over the top. McCallum back to Donaldson, so they're racking up the stats between them. And Deuter takes the chest mark, but he's a long, long way from goal. Puts it in. Oh, you are gagging me. What a kick. Go wide, three on one. Mont, need a clearing Shepherd. Gets a handball away. Now he's going to get caught. Gets a handball away. Ball's up the wing. Centers it. Finds Brooker. Gets taken out. No says the umpire. And Northcote rebound now. So a bit of hard hands there by Brooks, unfortunately. And Northcote will loop it around nicely. Move it forward. And Mark is taken. Well within scoring range. So Monty went from a position of attack Turnover, and now Northcote are in attack with a shot on goal. I don't think uh, Coach Ben will be too happy about the ease that Northcote actually moved, moved at the length of the ground. Oh, that's a goal. And Northcote, they're third. And uh, Deutz knows he just couldn't quite hold on. Oh, Wade's a tackle. Oh, well done, Deutz. This puts the pressure, and this is what Monty's going to do. He's got to keep the pressure on. Force Northcote into these kinds of errors, where they've got to take a strong mark, or Monty had it. Unfortunately, they did take the strong mark. They chip. Where's the pressure? No pressure. Northcote again. It's through the centre. You can see no one there. And Northcote, you can see the numbers. They've just created a, a wall, a barrier. The umpire gives him five. But look at that. Montmorency, I don't know how they're zoning the defence, but uh, Northcote... From the way Northcote played, you would swear they had about 28 players on the field. Every time they kicked the ball, they managed to find a player loose. This was boring football. It was chip, chip, chip. It was like being at the AFL. If you want to go to the AFL, go to the AFL. This is suburban footy. Attack, play on, move the ball, contests. None of which were really in the game. The ability Northcote Park had to defeat the one-on-one -on -one and create space was unbelievable. Northcote chip and keep it in. All day they seem to have a loose player through the centre, which at Bill Laurie Oval is one place you do not want a loose player. Going slow then. Controlling the pace. Montmorency can't get their hands on it at the moment. And look at that. Wow. They've gone, they're going the length of the ground without being touched. And, oh, thank goodness, so finally Montmorency get a hand on the ball, but it only goes as far as Northcote. Kick off the ground. And uh, they've still got it. And it's a free kick to them. Now he has a set shot. I think he got it. He has. At times there were some great highlights. Both teams moved the ball quickly. But the finishing was just not there. For a day with perfect footy conditions, there was not a lot of goals scored for the day. Fennell drops it. Oh no! Dear oh dear. Look at knock it out. Monty need to get this back. They do. Callum handballs. Donaldson. He chips. Doesn't quite hit the target. Monty gets it on the bounce. Kicks. And the mark is taken by Brooker. Brooker moves it quickly. Back of the pack. Oh, oh, gets tackled. 
He gets the goal. Oh, that was close. So much needed goal for Montmorency. Ball's just slammed down the throat of Northam. Waiting, just sweating out wide for that secondary position. Two on one at the fall of the ball. This is where, oh, look at this. Where are the Montmorency players? And this is on target. And that's a massive reply. Down that end of the ground, Montmorency can't score. Pretty simple. Ball hits the ground. Mitchie Dillon spins, gets a handball out. How's it going to sit Collins? Gets a handball to McCallum. That's better play. One bounce. Can have a second. Likes to kick. Gets smothered. Ball bounces free. Now Jesse Donaldson's got to kick the goal and does. That's better play by Montmorency. Then when the ball did move in forward for Montmorency, they didn't seem to have the numbers back that Northcote could get, and they were able to clear out a defence. Kicks it long. That's better play by Montmorency. Back of the pack, no one there. Going to get caught. A pace advantage. Montmorency put it long. Deuter. Oh, way over his head. Oh, stutters. This allows Northcote to flood back. Goes long. Back of the pack. When Mon got the ball, they seemed to be rushed. Northcote swarmed, and this was the story of the day, and Mont just couldn't break free. Takes him on, taking the ground. Monty second to the ball. Northcote long, long, long. Goal. So not a great game for Mont today. And I can tell you, in the rooms after the games, it was complete silence. I don't think I have ever seen a room so silent as that, not even after losing a final. So this week I didn't catch up with Coach Ben just because I didn't want him shoving the camera where the sun doesn't shine. And of course I mean that in tongue in cheek, he wouldn't do that, Ben is the nicest bloke around, but I just didn't think it was appropriate to stick the camera in his face after that heartbreaking loss. So today Instead of a coach interview, instead of a player interview, because look, everyone's flat as a pancake down there at Mont at the moment, let's, let's remember some of the better times. And each week, if I can't catch up with a player, I'm gonna play, a, I'm gonna play something from the past. And this week, let's have a look at one of the greats of Montmorency Football Club. So this week we're back at the Nest and we play West Preston. They're not doing much better than us, they've only got two wins, we've got one win. So they're going to be desperate. Traditionally, they don't have a big crowd, so there's not going to be a lot of atmosphere, but this game is going to be critical, so expect to see some high quality football. I'm going to be there, I'll have the camera, I'll have another report coming, I want you there, and I want to say, go Mont, let's go to victory. <laughs> 